So, a few days ago, the Metro published an article saying that playing a lot of video games uh, causes people to do all sorts of weird things. Now, this isn't a new argument. A lot of people have been saying that games uh, such as Grand Theft Auto or other violent games can cause psychotic tendencies in real life people. I'm just to say that people who play a lot of games, they fail to differentiate between what's in the game world and what's in reality. So things like this happen. I can't read. Yeah, press the triangle button and uh, you'll be able to jump up and get it. Not to get into the argument whether this is true or not, I think one has to also look at, um, you know, does this phenomenon occur? in people who spend long times doing other kinds of stuff, such as... So what's the answer to this question? So let's start from answers, where question equals three. Look at me. I'm going to my friend's house. Okay, wait, um, do you mind if I check your bag, please? You know, you're not allowed any liquids, any suspicious items. Why don't you come over here and step through the scanner, please, ma'am? Thank you. I'm coming now. Okay, but mind the gap, please. Mind the gap. Let other people off the bed first. Hey, man, open up. I really need to go. Seriously, big dog, man. Uh, no, that's... You take your time. You see, you, you start to see how ridiculous some of the claims start to become because these people immerse themselves in things all the time. It's a bit like saying people who work in security all day long come home and then they put on a black hat and start hacking servers. So anyway, that was my little uh, point of view for the day. Um, haven't had time to do a proper video this week. Uh, lots of stuff that was going on. Uh, you can read all about it when I publish my memoirs in a few years' time um, and uh, find out really how interesting my life is. Stay secure, my friends.